Relief tonight for an Indiana family after the release of two more hostages from Hamas custody. The women are Israeli citizens, but one of them has relatives in Evansville. Now the U.S. is reportedly seeking a delay to an Israeli ground offensive, hoping to get more hostages out. At least 212 people were taken by Hamas after attacks in Israel earlier this month. Israel and Hamas have been at war ever since. Thousands of people have been killed. Tonight, there's a push to get more aid into Gaza. 20 trucks carrying resources passed into this area today. This is according to the UN, which warns more help is needed. Our Emily Longnecker talked with the Indiana relatives of one of the hostages just released tonight who say they were expecting the worst. Emily? Well, Scott, Mark and Tori Vivoda were not expecting the news they got today. It's been two weeks since Mark's aunt and uncle were taken hostage by Hamas in their attack on Israel. Tori and Mark had little hope the couple, both in their 80s, were even alive. Today, though, they got news that has them both still in shock. They learned tonight that Mark's aunt was released. This is the picture that made it all real. Yoshki Lifshitz smiling in an Israeli hospital hours after her release. Lifshitz was one of two more hostages released today after being kidnapped and held by Hamas nearly three weeks ago. That picture definitely made it real um, and not just a news headline. Lifshitz's nephew Mark and his wife Tori, who live in Evansville, spoke to 13 News about their renewed hope that more hostages still being held in Gaza are alive and could be released too. The fact that they have been found is extremely bright for the hostages that haven't been found yet. It's estimated some 200 hostages are still being held by Hamas. One of them is Lifshitz's husband, Oded. And Oded has, uh, needs medicine for lung disease. And if the fact he's still alive three weeks later without having that, there has to be some type of dignity. There has to be some, some type of humanity happening. Um, and I can't lose hope on that. The Lifshitzes, both in their 80s, were founders of the kibbutz near Oz, where 400 people lived before the Hamas attacks. Mark and Tori say 198 of those people are accounted for. 80 are still missing. Mark says his aunt and uncle were peace activists and regularly brought Palestinians from Gaza to Israel for medical treatment. A lot of what they did was try to better the situation. Mark doesn't expect that to change even now even after going through what he calls physical, emotional, and spiritual trauma of the nearly past three weeks. Now that Yaakve has been returned, she will use that platform. She will say those words. She will say, I'm here. I'm. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. But now I'm going to use that position to fight for the dignity, respect, and humanity for the children, for the Palestinians, for the Israelis. After their experience, I think that their message of peace will be even more immediate and will be even more needed. The idea of peace is still a hope this couple has, even if right now, to them, it seems like a distant one. You know, there's this idea of hope, but what does it really mean in the Middle East? Emily, do they know how Mark's uncle is doing? Well, today? they really don't. They believe that he is alive, um, but they're hoping to learn more in the coming days from okay. Mark's aunt. Yeah. We know you'll be covering it. For Thanks, sure. Emily Longnecker. We've got complete coverage for you on the war between Israel and Moss online. There you can find all the developments in this conflict, plus all of our conversations with Hoosiers who have ties to people in the war zone, all for you tonight on WTHR.com.